All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. So uh, this is going to be an NE566. Now you may be familiar with an NE555, even an NE556, but this is an NE566, very different animal, but it's out of the same family. Um, this is pretty rare part. Um, and it is a function generator. How about that function generator? So it outputs a um, it outputs a square wave and a triangle wave. Now, to get a triangle wave, you you need a current source um, in order to get a straight line. If you charge a capacitor with a, a voltage, you get a, a funny looking curve. If you charge a capacitor with a constant current, you get a straight line. And so this must have some constant current sources in it. And there we go, right here, current sources. So there's a current source that does the charging and discharging of this capacitor here. And then there's a Schmidt trigger that triggers off of that and creates the, uh, creates the crossover. So um, you can also change the speed of this thing by the modulation input. Kind of a funny name, um, but uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, let me show you the circuit that I'm going to use. So uh, this is that modulation input, and it's just a voltage. So you use a voltage divider uh, potentiometer. You input a voltage here, and that sets the, uh, the current source. So it charges fast or charges slow, which changes the frequency. Um, so here's just a pull-up, and here is the, ch the capacitor we're going to be charging, BCC and ground, and then we get an output for square waves and for triangle waves and that's all there is to it a little eight pin part does all of this that's pretty cool all right let's take a look at the part all right here we go let me remove this when it's not being used um so uh we have the chip uh here's the point one uh, microfarad capacitor here's the voltage that we can change for uh the uh, charge current and that's all there is to it so let's take a look at the output uh, so you can see on one channel we have a square wave, and on the other channel we have a, tr a triangle wave. And um, the voltage outputs are very strange. So these are both on the exact same scale. So it's 2 volts per division, and they're both ground reference to this point here. So the triangle wave does a small excursion. They're not ground reference. They're up here, so it goes between about... Uh, uh, let's see, two, four, about four, four volts to two volts, four volts to two volts. It kind of goes up and down. And then this one here goes uh, two, four, si two, four, two, four, five, about five volts to two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So it goes up and down much higher. And it, when I first hooked it up, I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. Um, they're not, they're not the same amplitude, and they're not ground reference. I'm thinking, well, this is really strange. But let's take a look at the data sheet and see if we're getting the right thing. So here's the data sheet, and you can see here the square wave is going between about 5 volts and 12 volts. That's what we're getting. And the triangle wave, ah, they put in a different scale. It's going between about 3 volts and 6 volts. So it's doing, the, it, it's doing what it's doing. So yeah, that's what it, that's what it outputs. So, uh, if you wanted to use these things, you could just ground uh, uh, capacitively couple them. So let's uh, let's AC let's say AC couple both of these, um, and then we will put them both in the center. Let's see here. How come that's not? How come that's not working? One. Oh, it's DC referenced. AC reference. There we go. So if we just AC reference both of them, we'll trigger on zero, and yeah, there we go. So if you did do an AC couple on the output of your, uh, your 566, then you could do this. But be aware, though, that the uh, square wave is going to be, uh, amplitude's going to be a lot, lot larger than the, uh, than the triangle wave. All right, uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, twiddle that uh, potentiometer, okay? And that will just change the voltage input on pin five. And there you go, I can make it slower or I can make it faster. Um, so and then it breaks, so not too fast. <laughs> um, 
you can read the data sheet for what uh, what is the actual usable range for this thing. Oh, it's going real slow now. Let me slow it way down. Oh, let's see here. Get it back. Here we go. Back back in its normal usable range here. Yeah, so it's going pretty slow right now. This is uh, 100 milliseconds per division. And 0.1 microfarad capacitor, that's, a, that's pretty slow for that capacitor. Anyway, you get the idea. I can grab the knob and speed it up. So it's a fun little, uh, fun little thing to use. Uh, you could put a, um, a filter, a simple RC filter after the uh, triangle wave here, make it into a sine wave or a pseudo, pseudo sine wave and uh, have yourself a, a nice little generator. All right, that was Chip of the Day, and any 566, pretty rare beast.